The character of Dawson and especially Dawson and Amanda's relationship, it's, it's, it's so intense and I haven't done something um, so emotionally intense and, and the stakes are so high for, for these characters and it's, um, it's always really fun to go so far out and to really commit and, and it's been an absolute pleasure doing that. Um, that and also the fact that this is, you know, filming down in a beautiful place like New Orleans, which is a thrill and, and also, you know, these Nicholas Sparks' books and movies are so well loved and, and they're, they're great films. I mean, everyone loves The Notebook and, and to be part of that, it's uh, really exciting. The story of the best of me, um, you know, it's uh, two uh, high school high school kids um, from very different backgrounds. They fall in love, and and uh, as it tends to do, the world tries to, to rip them apart. But they, uh, they they there's always this love between them, and they they don't see each other for a while, and they can't come back, and they've got to tiptoe around that idea of, of first love and, and and when to let go and what to hold on to. And you know, one of those one of those great stories that involves all the emotions that that we feel that we hope to feel that we are feeling and, 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 and I think that's what the audience is really going to love about it. I play young Dawson <clears throat> uh, and, and I think he's a really interesting fellow. He comes from a, uh, uh, a, a kind of uh, nefarious background to say the least. His family isn't uh, the cleanest of whistles. Um, but he, he, I, I think he, he's very different from a lot of them. Um, but something he struggles with is, is is when he finds himself maybe being quite similar to them, and it, that can that can scare him. And and uh, but he's a very intelligent guy, and um, the complexity comes in in the fact that he's a really intelligent guy and, and and a very noble and lovable guy. And I think he's got a very strong moral fiber and a very strong character. And and it's funny because he he's been kind of beat down a lot of his life, and it it, it it's really hard for him to to accept that he's a good person in his heart and, and to accept that people would want to be around him and want to be with him. He has a, a certain mistrust of, of people and he's, he's kind of, as much as he's been surrounded by his family, he's almost lived alone in that environment. James Marsden plays the older version of Dawson and uh, I, I, I mean, he's, he's such a great bloke. He's really such a great bloke and I think that's, that's one of the great qualities he brings to Dawson, this approachability, this, this, this fact that you know he's a good guy right there, you just have to look at him and you can see it in his eyes and I think that's really key to Dawson is that underneath all of it he is so considerate and so uh, giving of himself and just tries to, uh, maybe to a fault of his own, but just wants to make everyone else happy in a certain way. Um, but James brings, yeah, this, this real approachability to it and this, this warmth um, that even though he's grown, it's, even though it's been time and he's been hardened and gone through certain adversity, um, that strength is coupled with that, uh, with that real kind of warmth that James has. Liana Labrado plays Amanda, young Amanda. And uh, I mean, Liana is, is cute as a button. And, and I think that's really something that there's a real innocence to her and a beauty to her that, that comes through. And uh, the, she's, she's uh, very bubbly and, and, and doesn't have a mean bone in her body. And I think that really, really comes through in, in her portrayal of Amanda. We were very fortunate we got to spend you know, two, three weeks before production, rehearsing and, and literally just hanging out, getting to know each other, having a coffee and, and walking around the French Quarter. And, and it was so important. I, was so, I feel so thankful for it because, as I said, these, these scenes and, and these, these, this story that we're portraying, it's, it's all these really intense and, 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 you know, consequential moments of these people's young relationship. And, and you have to go out on, you have to go all the way out and fully commit to it and to know that that if you're going to go out and fully commit to something, someone's going to be there to match you and to meet you and to, and to hold you up. And, and I think there's a, we were able to gain such a great trust between each other in terms of tackling this love story head on and, and really, really making it be a love story that people wanted to be a part of. Joe McCraney plays Tuck and, and I, had, I had such a good time working with him. I mean, uh, when, you, when you make movies, all you want to do is, is work with people that um, inspire you and, and, and can teach you something that you don't know already and, and every day at work there was something that, uh, that, that Mac taught you and, and he was such a warm and lovable guy. Um, great stories, loved his history. Um, we'd always have you know, good chats about God knows what. You know, it, it was really just such an approachable man. And so lovely and so giving with, with you know, the times he spent on a movie set and, and filming and working. That's, it's invaluable when, when he can give you some advice on on, on, on anything really, on really anything. It was, it was an absolute pleasure getting to know him. I hope I get to work with him again. There was a, a beautiful scene on the roof here between Liana and I um, 
where we kind of, I, I come to, we've just had a kind of intense run in with my family and, and I'm really worried about her and, and we have a beautiful scene on the roof and it's, it's, it's so intense and it's so passionate and beautiful. And I really, that was a really fun scene to film because it was so involved, you know, it's so, it was a, it was a bit of a chilly night and they've got the rainmakers on, but it's kind of funny. They say rolling and they bring the rain up and it's freezing and you're soaking wet. But the moment they say action, you, 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 I couldn't feel anything. And you know you're doing a good job and you're in a, a really important and intense scene when, when, when everything else goes to the wayside and, you, and you're just right there with an actor. So that was a really rewarding scene and a fun, to see, fun scene to film as an actor. I think when you see this film, you've got a lot to look forward to. It's, it's, a, it's a nice... Uh, it's a nice uh, break from reality, I think. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful time spent away from whatever you've got to do in the day. And, and, and it's such a, an epic and, and, and kind of full-on love story that, that you can't help but get swept up in. You know, everyone, uh, I think I said it before, but everyone, everyone feels these emotions or, or has felt these emotions or wants to feel these emotions or is currently feeling these emotions in this movie and, and when you can see that on screen and, and grab that and recognize that, um, it's always very comforting, I think, and, and it can be very kind of therapeutic in a way. Um, but it's also, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful film to sit down and watch with someone you love or someone you're falling in love with or, or even, your, even your good friend.